Hello, it's Ryan, and I have the lunch menu for the upcoming week. On Monday, we have dinosaur chicken nuggets with a pretzel. On Tuesday, we have a hamburger or a cheeseburger. Wednesday, there's a normal cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza. This Thursday, we have hot ham and, che and cheese on a pretzel roll or a sort of deli. Try saying that ten times fast. I dare you. And on Friday, there is an Italian cheesy pull apart with sauce. Now on to Juliana with some of the recent Golden Stand Award winners. Hi, it's Juliana, and I'm going to tell you about five recent Golden Stand winners. First up is Miles Straters. Strader. Miles shows great responsibility by coming to band lessons each week prepared. He continues to make great progress on the trumpet due to his dedication. Our second Golden Stand winner is Layla Herzog. Layla has made a lot of progress on the flute this year. She is very eager to learn new things and shows her dedication to band with attendance at lessons and early morning rehearsals. Our next Golden Stand winner is Cooper Perry. Cooper is a role model to his section and is always making responsible choices. He shows a very advanced skill level of picking up new songs by using his ear instead of the music in front of him. Cooper is always excited to play and challenge himself with new music. Our fourth Gordland stand winner is Ty Tyler Ryan. Tyler shows responsibility through gr good attendance at rehearsals and practicing. He is a good role model to his peers with his behavior and how he treats others. Our last Golden Stand winner is Jack Dockerty. Jack is a leader in his section. He show he shows a great amount of determination in improving his skill set. Jack is a respectful and responsible band student. Great job to all of our Golden Stand winners. Now on to Adriana with some trivia. Hi, Adriana here with four trivia questions for everyone. Number one, what animal has the strongest bite? The answer is a hippopotamus. What does Dorito mean in Spanish? The answer is little fried golden thing. What is acrophobia a fear of? The answer is a fear of heights. Number four, what country was Elon Musk born in? The answer is South Africa. That's all for trivia. Now on to Bryn with, with this week in history. Hey Hill School, today I'm gonna to share some events in history. On January 29th, 1919, the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which is called Prohibition Amendment. This amendment made making, selling, or transporting alcohol illegal in the U.S. For 14 years, it was illegal to have alcohol in the United States until the law was reversed in, 19, in 1933. On January 30, 1948, Mahatma Gandhi was shot in New Delhi, Indiana. Gandhi is known for inspiring Martin Luther King Jr. and many others with his belief in nonviolent protests. He worked to free Indiana from British, from British control before his death and left a lasting impact on the world. Finally, on January 31st, German troops surrendered at Stalingrad, making the first big defeat of Hitler of Hitler's armies in World War II. Now one of Maggie with some cool facts to share. Hi Hill School, today I'm going to be talking about some interesting things. Number one, clouds weigh around a million pounds f for an average cumulus cloud. How does something so heavy float? Number two, giraffes are 30 times more likely to get hit by lightning than people. Why? Well, being that tall in areas without a lot of trees puts you in a more in danger of being hit by lightning. Number three, identical twins might look a lot like, might look a lot alike, but they do not have the same fingerprints. Number four, this one is kind of scary, but your brain is constantly eating itself. Don't worry too much. It just means that your brain cells are consuming smaller cells and molecules in order to clean up your brain. Basically, cells are eating other cells when they are not needed any longer. Hope you like those fun facts. Hey, Hill School. We're here with the amazing Mrs. Borg. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to meet with us. Our first question is, what is your favorite thing about teaching? 
My favorite thing is watching the kids come in at the beginning of the year and just grow in so many positive ways until the end of the year. Great answer. Academic and social. Second question. Do you have any pets? And if you do, how many? Oh, Jason, I'm so glad you asked. Lily, my golden doodle, is going to be 12. And she is very active. She is very naughty. Um, but for an older dog, she is doing fantastic. And thank you for asking. No problem. Third question. What is your favorite food? I forgot that was on the questions. I'm going to go with crab legs. I don't have them very often because they're pretty expensive, but they are so delicious and I love them. Same here. Ooh. Last question. What makes a good day at school? Well, just like you kids, teachers like to have fun too. So we really, really like the fun stuff. Um, and it's always more fun when everyone is cooperating and being kind to each other and being responsible because as long as that's going on, the fun can continue. So that's what I like is the fun stuff. Thank you, Mrs. Bork. Now back to the studio. Hello, my name is Kimari and today I'll be telling you some animal facts. The first animal fact I'm going to be telling you is that it takes 3,000 cows to supply the NFL with enough leather for a year's supply of football. The second fact is that it's much easier for dogs to learn spoken commands if they are given in along with hand signals or gestures. Dogs are really good at understanding body language and process movements better than voice commands. It is probably why dogs seem to know when you are sad or upset. The last fact I will share with you is that there is a butterfly called the African Giant Swallowtail that, is, that has enough poison in its body to kill 20 cats. That's all the animal facts I have today. Hello, Emmy here with a person in history you should know about. This week, I'm going to be talking about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She was born March 15, 1933, and on June 14, 1993, some quick math tells me that she was 60 years old when she joined the Supreme Court. She had two children and was married to Martin D. Ginsburg. She was the second woman ever to be appointed to the Supreme Court. She is best known for fighting for women's rights and equality. She believed deeply that men and women had to be treated equally. She was a champion of women, women rights and stood up for what she believed in, even when it meant going against the court justices. She died in 2020 due to cancer, but left behind a legacy that will live on forever. Well, that's all for me. Now on to bloopers, if we have any. Hello, Emery here with the purse with the, the U.S. Constitution, which is called pro, prohib, prohibition. What is a, wait. Some quick math helps me think, think 